What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Life Orb Dialga team alongside with Garchomp, Cinderace, and Swampert Squad. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. And shout out to my boy Khaled for actually dropping this team right here. It looks amazing. Once I saw it, it had a bunch of Pokemon that I really, really like on it. And I was like, yo, we got to get hopping on that rank ladder with this team. But rocking out in that front spot, top left corner, we got Talonflame with the Gale Wings and Charlie Berry. I haven't actually used Talonflame in a good bit, probably since Series 8 has been uh, out. So it's good to get back into action with Talonflame. Such a good Pokemon. We can set up Tailwind with it. We also have will o -Wisp on this set so we can take out some physical attackers with it with dual wing beat for our hitting stab move and protect as our final move. Holding that Charty Berry so it can actually eat up a rock shot and go from there. Right next one we got our Life Orb Diago with telepathy so we cannot get hit by uh, teammates moves and that's really only going to be uh, good for our Garchomp over here so we can go into an EQ with Garchomp with Diago on the field and not even get hit by it so that can actually work well. It's Steel and Dragon type with Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Thunder, and Protect. One thing I would maybe change with this is actually give him a Dragon move like Roar of Time, but it's okay. We still have our Flash Cannon stab move and then two coverage moves with Earth Power and Thunder. Yeah, my face cam is a very, very strong Pokemon. We got Cinderace over here, Liberio, and Focus Hash. Everybody knows this thing can absolutely dominate once you get rolling with him. We have Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Gunk Shot, and Sucker Punch. All stab moves due to his ability. And right next to him, we got Garchomp, another beast of a Pokemon. Dragon and Ground type with the rough, rough skin and the white herb so we cannot get stat changes. Rock Slide, Brick Break, EQ, and Breaking Swipe. Awesome moveset for this Pokemon. Bottom left corner, Moltres with the Berserk ability, Assault Vest, we got Fiery Wrath, Ancient Power, Snarl for Special Attackers, and Air Slash for our Stab Flying Move. Then in our final spot, we got our Torrent, Mago Berry Swampert, which protects Scald, you want to put Pokemon to sleep, and Wide Guard protect your Pokemon from double hitting moves. Guys, we're going to try out this team for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And guys, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon would you guys like to see me play next? Whether it be a Pokemon that I already played, or whether it's a Pokemon or any other Pokemon that I haven't played yet. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are. But without further ado, let's hop on to that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Mimikyu, Urshifu, Snorlax, Incineroar, and Robum. So he has some fake outs, he has some intimidates. We got a lot to watch out for here. But going back to my question of the day, Pokemon that I really want to use again on the channel. Let me know if you guys are interested in this as well. I want to use Xerneas skin, Rayquaza, and I'm trying to think of it like a third one that I really, really want to use again. I'm not too sure, but if it does pop into my head during this video, I'll definitely let you guys know. But if you guys also want to send me teams, Head the link in the description below. There's a link to my Instagram page, Gene underscore YouTube. I try to get back to everybody's DMs. Send me them teams over there, those rental codes, and I will definitely get back to you guys and let you know if I'm going to be using them on the channel. But we're going up in our first battle. I definitely want to bring in Talonflame. Definitely want to take speed control here. He can trick him with a Mim Mimikyu. So I got to watch out for that. Because if he leads Mimikyu, I might just burn him and roll from there. I could go Garchomp as my lead because I can EQ and I can roll out from there. He does have a... I do have a White Herb, so I'm not really too worried about that Intimidate. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to bring Cinerace and I think Dialga. Yeah, that's a pretty solid, solid squad right here. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right, let's roll. Let's run it. So if he leads Incineroar, that's going to be fine by me. You, uh, Talonflame. I don't mind if Talonflame gets burned. If he leads a Mimikyu, then I think he might go for a Trick Room, so I might just burn it. I might just burn it, drop an EQ. Instead of setting up a Tailwind. Because I don't want to set up a Tailwind, then him go in the Trick Room and take complete control of this, this match. Let's just see what he does. He's going to go with Mimikyu and Incineroar. Okay, so both Pokemon that I that I could, that I could thought could be a potential lead. Alright, that's fine by me. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. I'm going to drop a big old EQ. Intimidate's going to do nothing to my Garchomp, baby. <laughs> White Herb's going to pop, which is going to be lovely. Give me that. You're not dropping my attack stat. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Get a free EQ, and I am going to burn. Let's burn you. And I'm just going to drop a nice big old EQ onto these guys. Actually, should I dual wing beat? Instead of burning? Actually, yeah, I should burn. I should burn. Let's uh, let's throw on a burn. I could dual wing beat, though. I am going to dual wing beat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dual wing beat into an EQ. I think, that, I think that's a fine play. So I can take off the disguise, get some damage on him, and maybe take out with an EQ. He's going to fake out. Talonflame, that's totally fine. Talonflame flinches. The key's gonna pop. Who's it missing? Talonflame, that's it. Keep it that way. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so he does fake me out. 
Big damage over onto that Incineroar, and we take off this wonderful disguise. Not a bad turn. Is he going to play rough? That's my question. Or are you going to trick him? You might trick him here. He's going to trick him. Okay. It's fine. I, 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 I kind of saw that coming. Not even going to lie. Um, I can see the fairy move popping out here as well now. I could swap. And I think I'm going to do a hard swap into Dialga onto my uh, onto that slot. And I think I'm just going to do a wing beat and try to get rid of Mimikyu. Right? Do some damage on the Mimikyu? Or, no, I'll try to get rid of this Incineroar so he doesn't swap. I don't protect, but I am going to hard swap into my Dialga because I totally see this fairy move coming out here. And trying to dump on my guard jump. And I'm going to say, hey, you, you knocked it off. It's not happening. Get out my Dialga. The Dialga's buzzing now. He goes, you turn from you. Oh, that's fine. A fair play. And I do think the fairy move is coming in here. And we are going to get a dual wing beat on whoever he throws out here. Just start throwing some burns around with my uh, talent flame. Who's it going to be? Who's taking a beam? Relax. Okay, so Burns definitely have to start coming out here. A lot of physical attackers here. Play rough. Good call, Jeans. Good call, Jeans. Play rough comes out. We eat up. Avoids an attack. What you mean, dude? All right, let's Willow Wisp over on you. Um, I can just drop a fly. I'm actually gonna uh, Dynamax and Seal Spike. Try getting defense boost. I think that's a fine. I think that's a fine play. We took a little bit of damage here, but I think the play rough was fine. I totally forgot a little bit that uh, <laughs> that Dialga is dragon type too, so it wasn't not very effective. I was just thinking of a steel type. I'm like, oh, he's steel. So we'll be able to eat up a lot better. But still, we ate up just fine. We have that life orb. Uh, this will be able to take out Mimikyu, no problem. And we will get a defense boost, which I'm a um, big fan. Big fan, considering three out of his four so far are physical attackers. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. And if we get a burn off on the Snorlax, that'd be big. No one's gonna come through. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, what are you doing? Steel Spike comes through. You're dead. Mimi's dead. We're going to be able to get off one more turn before the Yawn comes through. We're going to be able to get off a burn here. If I can burn this Pokemon, and if the next Pokemon's physical, we can be thriving. We can be thriving. I can throw a burn on that. His defense boosts are coming out here. I'm, I definitely want another, another defense boost here. Here's my Wind Wisp. Yes, it lands. Thank the Lord. Nothing's worse than when you're paralyzed or, uh, or your burn misses. Like, that is the worst thing in on planet Earth. It really is. It really is. I hate it. It's, you just feel like you lost the match after. You're like, yo, what you mean? It's really bad. Uh, hopefully he shows his fourth and final, but I think he might go into Incineroar. Let's see. Let's show his fourth and final. And it's, we gotta put a burn on the thing. We gotta put a burn on him right now. ASAP. ASAP. Put a burn on him. Put a burn on him. Burn him up. Deal spike. Uh, do I want a proc policy? Not really. Not really. So I'm going to steal Spike over onto uh, this slot. Do not want to proc that policy. And I wonder who he's going to take out. Hopefully he goes for my Dialga. He does not Dynamax. He's going to protect the Calyrex. That's fine. I think I'm still spiking over into a Snorlax slot. Snorlax is going to go for a Body Slam. You should be able to eat. Yes. Tasty Snack. And get him. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Will this come to Actually, this could slow us down. Actually, put us in a better position, but I kind of want to go for a tailwind after this. Just take speed advantage. Steel spike comes out. Big old defensive boost coming out. Dialga's gonna go to sleep. It's fine. He's gonna take his night cool, but he's plus one defensive board. I need to get a burn off on this thing. But I think he's just gonna go after my town flame at this point. And what's this thing? Leftovers, yeah. Burn's doing dirty work. Brought out a lot of physical attacks. Here. A lot. Dude, if I get a burn on this Calyrex, it's GG. It, it will be GG. Is who else do I have in the back? I have a uh, Archamp and Simmons. Both physical attackers, so he does have an Intimidate left. Um, again, I want to try to get off this burn, man. And if I do wake up, we'll go for a Steel Spike. <laughs> but, but we're not waking up. Is that possible to wake up from a no-turn sleep? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no no turns missed. I think it has to be at least one. Let me know in the comment section below. You guys are smart with all this stuff. You guys definitely helped me take my Pokemon game to the next level. Let's see what this play makes, or this guy makes. This is actually a really good battle. Win or lose, this is a solid battle. He still has a Dynamax, I do know that, and I think he's going to Dynamax Calyrex right here, right now. Um, I have Paralyzed and Sleep. He has one burn on Snorlax. I'm not worried about Snorlax. 
at all. I'm not worried about that Incineroar. I'm only worried about this Calyrex. And this Calyrex can potentially... He can take out my Garchomp, no problem. My Cinderace is going to have to be the Clutchmon. And hit him hard with Fireball. Like that, that is going to be the Pokemon to do it. And do I bring out Cinderace next turn? T Trick Room will end, so we will take Speed Advantage, which is huge. But Ice going to come out here. You're going to be able to eat. And are you going? who are you going after? Go for my Diablo. That'd be awesome. Now he goes after Town Flame. He's going to get that uh, Chilling Nay boosted. And Trick Room will end here. Trick Room will end. So what is going to be the play here? To go into an EQ? With Garchomp or bring out my... Uh, I'll bring out my Cinder. The Buffets are going to neglect his leftover damage, which is big. Uh, Dialga's done Dynamax. This one's going to be really, really close. I'm thinking of dropping an EQ. And now Proc Pal. Ooh, ah, man, dude. Here go Cinder. Drop a big old Pyro Ball. Good. I could. And I am Sash, but then Buffets will take me out. Um, I'm thinking of just going in here. Dropping a big old EQ. It will not hit my, uh... All my Diagos out here. It won't hit him because we have Telepathy. as our ability. Garchomp should be able to pick up the KO onto the Snorlax. Do some damage over onto the, uh... The Calyrex. And I don't really mind proc and policy right now considering... Oh, no. Okay, actually, it's not super effective. Okay, that, that's fine by me. Yeah, let's go EQ. And a Flash Cannon. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try to hit this thing. If we do proc policy, it's totally fine. He's going to go after my Garchomp and take him out anyway. I kind of need Diago to wake up right now. Yon's doing me dirty. The Yon is doing me dirty. We still have the Cinder in the back. I'm not worried about the Incineroar in the back. I don't really think he's going to do too, too much. He's low on HP. We're going to all my Pokemon out speed all of his. We have the speed advantage right now all day because Shrikram is over. Good thing I did not set up that Tailwind. I thought of that in the beginning. I was like, he's probably going to lead Mimikyu. No, hey, Tailwind, get it out of my face. We ain't doing it. We're not doing it. Earthquake comes through. Telepathy says, yo, I'm reading that. I'm going to jump up in the air while the <laughs> EQ is happening. And we're going to drop the Snorlax. Beautiful. Snorlax is gone. Don't have to worry about his move coming in here. We do a little bit of damage over onto the Calyrex. The Alga is still slump. God dang it, man. Going to go for a Quake. And he's going to take out R? Or he's going to take out my Diablo. Okay, so Garchomp goes down. Oh, not Garchomp. The other goes down. He's chilling Nate boosted with two special or a special defense boost, which is fine. We're both physical attackers. But my one problem is he has Buffets out here. He has the Buffets out here strong. He has one fake out coming out here and it intimidate all my Pokemon. Question is, who is he going to fake out? Who are you going to fake out? Or can I go for, say, a Sucker Punch? Oh my god. Can I go for a sucker punch? Will sucker punch outspeed that thing? We have no protects. I really want to do this. No, this is going to hit my boy. I can't EQ. Can I EQ? I can rock slide. Rock slide will take out Incineroar. Oh man. I could go for a sucker punch. I don't think sucker punch can take him out. I got to go for a pirate ball. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this one, dude. Calyrex coming in. He goes to fake out. Leave my Garchomp alone. No, my Cinderace. No, leave my Cinderace alone. Here's Rock Slide. Connects. Takes out Incineroar. No problem. And I think we're Proc and Pals here. Kind of scary. So we need him to go after my uh, my Garchomp. That's fact. We need him to go after my Garchomp here. First shot. Can go for a Quake. No, he's going after Cinder. Oh, wait. That might be going after my Garchomp. Let's see. Nope, Cinderace gone. Dang it, dude. Alright. He's out to a 1v1. I have speed. Um, he's special defense boost, but we're physical attacking. We're minus one. We need to get a crit. We need a KO right here, right now. Like, that is it. Or I need him to miss his next shot. <laughs> That's our only way of winning. We do outspeed. Um, I could go for a flinch on him with a rock slide. It might be, that might be the only play. Go for the flinch on the rock slide, but he's eating him up pretty well. There's no way I'm taking him out in one shot. I'm gonna lower the attack stats. Could have done that. Um, this one's just gonna rock side. We gotta look for the flinch here. This one's gonna be coming down the wire. Rock side comes out. It connects. Give me the flinch. Give it to me. Give me the flinch. We gotta just keep flinching this thing. Give me the flinch. 
We got one flinch. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I, <laughs> I think I had to go for another flinch. And I ain't gonna lie. Let's go. Let's look for this flinch. Come on. Let's get this flinch rolling. Rock slide. It missed. You missed now. What you mean? <laughs> Nah, yo, that's GG's. I, I, we, we were gonna need like one more flinch and a crit at the, like back to back. We're gonna need some super luck going on, which, which usually doesn't go our way. But 0-1 in our first battle had a strong first one. We're gonna hop to our second and look for our first win. This one's not gonna end well for us, ladies and gentlemen. Tornadus Kyogre team. At least he threw in something different, threw in Berizian on the squad. But typically that same really, really strong meta team. And hopefully we pick up this victory here. Uh, I'm gonna lead Talonflame. Gotta get off that Talonflame. Gotta match his speed in this battle. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Do I go with the Alka again? I could go Swampert. Swampert can yawn. I could lead a Swampert. Swampert's not a bad lead, considering we have the wide... Oh, we do have the wide guard for the squad. It'll be good. I am going to actually enter Swampert, potentially wide guard turn one. Both his hitting moves are going to be... Uh, I actually might lead uh, Moltres. I could lead Moltres over, over top of him. Over top of the town plane here. Let's see. For the Willows, we have the Protect. Uh, no, I kind of really want a Tailwind here. I can bring Swampert in the back and just have Talonflame go down to whatever he's going to do. Maybe Protect someone, get off a Tailwind. That, that could be a turn. Protect and then bring in the Swampert just to protect everybody. Hmm. Bomb spot Garchomp. Or not Garchomp, a uh, Cinderace. I'm liking that. I am liking that. Not even gonna lie. The white guard can come up clutch. I think he's gonna lead the to the Tornado's Kyogre combo. Not like straight up. I'm gonna protect by Dialga. Go into a tailwind, match his tailwinds. If this happens, if this happens, I'm gonna match his tailwinds. Have him going into the water spout. Let him take out my my uh what's called no problem. Let him take out my talent point, no problem. You're gonna go into it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you. Protect my boy right off the rip. He's gonna go tailwind. He's gonna go first water spell. That's totally fine. We're gonna match the tailwind. That's what I really need to match the tailwind. So you can take out my talent flame, no problem. Here's my point. Tailwind. Bang. Protect. Let's rock it. Thunder's gonna hit 100% of the time. I can do a nice amount of damage onto Kyogre next turn or onto that Thunders. So Town Flame, just get off this tailwind. And, and then then die. <laughs> that's that's all you could do right here. It'll be this one's gonna be tough too. This one's gonna be tough too. I really do enjoy this team though. Khaled, yo, know, I'm liking this, my dude. I am I am really liking the team. Just tough when uh you're just going up against constant meta that are really really tough to counter up on unless you're using the meta. Yeah, he's gonna protect. I'm gonna see a double tail win and we're gonna see a water spell. It's just it's just that's how predictable it is. That is how predictable it is. And she's gonna go straight for a hurricane. Okay. I do get off the tailwind. He's gonna go for an origin pulse. We get off. That's actually a big protect here. It's fine. Origin pulse hits both, so I'm gonna wide go next turn. I got my swamper. Now I'm this out. That's kind of what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get out swamps. I don't even have the dynamax. I really don't have the dynamax. But I want to. But I want to. I could save my Dynamax for my uh, Cinderace, which I actually might do. I don't wide guard. Who am I doing damage to? Kyogre? Yeah, let's go Kyogre here. Let's see. He's definitely going to go for another Origin Pulse. Or Water Spout. Either or. Wide guard coming out here. Yeah. Wide guard, baby. That one coming out here. And yeah. Yeah, yo, free turn for us. Is that free turn for us? Origin Pulse blocked. Get it out of my face. Wide guard. Wide guard, baby. And the best part about wide guard is I can use it two turns in a row. We rock in this one. Okay, so we go there. Almost get him out of here. Almost get him out of here. Big damage. Big, big damage there. All right, cool. Um, could wide guard again. But I'm just going to scald and protect. I think he's going to go for a hurricane up against me. I'm going to slow this one down. I'm going to play this one real slow here. Back coming out from Dialga. See what he goes through from here. 
We'll go for Hurricane. Oh, yeah. Yo, Jeans with the Reeds, baby. Jeans with the Reeds. What are you going to go for here? He's going to go for another Origin Pulse. That's fine. Uh, Swampert should be able to eat this up. No prob. But, yo, that's Tasty Snack. This KO's I'm quitting. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say. All I have to say is wow. Skull comes out here. It's beautiful. Doesn't matter. Get that guy out of my face. I'm not dealing with him. I'm not doing it. I could actually still Dynamax my Dialga right here right now. Which wouldn't be a bad play. It kind of depends who he's going to go into. I think I'm going to protect my Swampert now. He's going to go into a Hurricane onto my Swampert slot. I'm going to go for Rizzy. I'm going to protect my boy here. Protect my Swampert. I just drop a straight Thunder onto you. Why can't you go straight for a Flash Cannon? Not the Brazilian. Hmm. I just want to drop the Thunder. It's 100% hitting. Bring this thing down to a Sash. My protection coming clutch. He's going to Hurricane and go into probably like a Leaf Blade or something along those lines onto my Swamper slot. And we're just, again, we're just going to slow this one down. He could Dynamax go for an Overgrowth. He's going to Dynamax. Brazilian's going to get this Dynamax. Um, next turn will be his... or. This turn is our last turn in Tailwind. Next turn will be his last. It's going to be good balance. It's going to be real good. I still have my Cinderace here. I cannot change the weather, though, which stinks because I have Pyroball, which turns into Genius Fireball. And that does not change weather, which kind of stinks, but it happens. It goes Protect from the Swamps. I think an Overgrowth still KOs the thing, so that's tough news. Hurricane comes out here. Oh, we blocked there. Okay, you're coming after my Dialga slot? I'm cool with that. Knuckle. Oh, he's Buckle Knuckling. Buttery biscuit. I should have yawned on it. We do eat, which is wonderful. Uh, Cinderace gonna have to come out here next turn. And attack is gonna get boosted for that. Oh, the speed, man. Speed's doing me dirty. Shows that it's orbed. Here goes a thunder over on the U. That's gonna bring it down to Sash, obviously. Oop. And Cinderace gonna have to be a clutch mon here. This is tough, man. This is tough. We do survive a turn, which is huge. My, my team's tail when Peter's out. I'm going to go for a yawn if I can get it all. I can. And I could protect you. I'm going to protect you while Tailwind's not, not a thing. Or while uh, he sells one more turn to Tailwind. He's smart. He's going to go. If he's smart, he's going to read this protect and uh, get onto my Dialga. I've been protecting a lot. I've been making some solid protects. Let's see what he does. Hurricane comes out. No, he's not smart enough to do it. So Dialga's going to live another turn here. He's going to go for the Overgrowth. He's going to set up that grass turn. Okay. I still have my Cinder. Oh, dude, I hate how this thing is sashed. So he's probably going to Tailwind next turn. Definitely see that happening. Cinderace is going to have to get this, this Dynamax. We're going to have to go from there. He's going to Hurricane me next turn. Which is totally fine. Or I could just Sucker Punch it. Oh, no. Hurricane's not going to hit 100%. Rain's over? No. Yes, sir. Rain is over. He's gonna have to tailwind. He's gonna have to tailwind here. He's gonna have to tailwind, I think. Cinder's coming out here. We're Dynamax. Good thing I brought my Cinder. Not bad plays from me. This is, like, this is another good battle. Win or lose. Again, another good battle here. We're out one, but hopefully we can pick up this win. We're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna go to that Gmox Fireball. Uh, what is, what's his uh, priority again? Or what's it What's it do? It says this move can be used to regardless of target speed. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's go here. Get in after me. And then... This will flash can. Let's try to pick up this KO onto this uh onto Thunders. Cause I believe he's gonna tailwind before he goes out. I think that that's what he wants to do. He might guard and tailwind. Which I'd be fine with. I don't really see him guarding because this is gonna be his last turn in Dynamax. But I totally see him going for that tailwind. That's a good one. That's a good one, baby. Go ahead, make a move. What are you gonna do? I still have my sash, so there's no way Cinderace goes down. Is no terrain to or no weather to give us the buffets anymore, which is huge. And my Dialga survived, and that was that was actually big as well. The protects and the weeds we're going for were huge. But Dynamax coming out from big old rabbit from Bugs Bunny over here, or uh, the Tricks Rabbit. <laughs> Can't believe nobody uh, named uh, their what is that thing? Their Score Bunny Tricks. <laughs> like, that is such a good name. Looks like the Tricks Rabbit, just on like steroids. Hurricane's gonna come out here. Mwah, yo. Mwah, yo. Rain's missing. Rain is missing. Or not rain. Hurricane's missing without the rain. Yo. Jeez, man. That's gonna be game. Whoa. 
Sash is coming out of here, but Weather's gonna take us out. Oh! Yo, I didn't think that was gonna do that much damage. Only if this changed the weather up, man. That could have been huge. E Max Fireball coming out of here. Taking you out. We're picking up the double KOs. There's a shot here. It depends who his last Pokemon is, because Dialga has one more turn left. And your Buffett's really gonna take us out here. Buffets are really going to take us out, dude. This was such a good battle. I'm surprised that Rockfall did that much damage. I get he was plus one, and it's super effective, but still. I didn't think it was going to do that much. Buffets aren't going to hit my Dialga. Wow. So we need a KO here. We need Outspeed. We need a KO. Who is his last Mon? Who is your last Mon? It's going to be like Regilecki. He's just going to Outspeed me. KO me. Let's see. Who are you going to go for, kind sir? Who's your final Mon? I think everyone outspeeds me. Who's it going to be? Dragapult. <laughs> That's game, dude. That is game. I mean, I guess I'll protect. I'm going to protect. I need a little bit of HP back here. Have him take a little bit of buff of damage. Dude, come on. We're playing so good, too. Dragon Arch coming out here. Give me that HP. <laughs> We're playing so good. Not fair, man. Oh, he doesn't take buffets, I guess, because he's a ghost. Uh, we got to go for this. Oh, the last option here. Get it, Dialga. If I had one more turn with my Cinderace, no matter what HP, we would have won this game. We would have won this game. Dragon Darts miss. Ah, yo, that's GG. Both of them are going to hit. Don't, one's just going to pick up KO. GG, GG. Dude, we're playing so good right now. We're sitting at 0-2. we got to catch ourselves a win in this third and final battle. Third and final battle. We're sitting at 0-2. Got to get ourselves that win. Got to get that win here. We don't go 0-3 here. You guys know the rules. But we're going up against a Shadow Calyrex team. And he has Talonflame as well. So we're going to match him. We're going to get after it. Match with that Talonflame. Um, who else should I go into from here? He has a Regilecki. So I might bring that Garchomp. Garchomp can get buzzed near. Uh, he doesn't really have any double hitting moves. So I'm not really going to really bring Swampert. I don't think Swampert's really, really needed here. Uh, I do want to bring Garchomp. But at the same time, that Dragapult's kind of scaring me. Um, I could go Cinder. I definitely want to bring Cinder as a back in mind. I kind of want to go D, Alka, Moltres, and Cinderace. I don't want to lead them Moltres. We have that Soul Fest, which is pretty nice. Um, he does have that Ice Mon. Fairy moves. Blah, blah, blah. He has a Primarina. Uh, do I, I gotta bring Dialga. I might lead Dialga. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's lead Dialga. Bring Cinderace and Moltres in the back end. Actually, no. Let's lead Moltres. In case he leads that, uh... The Calyrex that I'm so scared of. I'm gonna go these two. Actually, ooh. I really want Garchomp, man. Nah, yeah, we, 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 we're we sticking with our gut here. I really do want Garchomp, though. Because of uh, Regilecki. But, because he might lead. Say he leads Regilecki. This, this is my thought process. He leads Regilecki and I have Moltres on the field. I can swap into Garchomp. That's, the, that, that's my problem. That is my problem. I want that Garchomp just for that reason. Just for that swap reason. And watch, he's gonna lead Regilecki. And I'm gonna have to smack the table because I'm gonna be so angry. Let's see. God dang it, man. I told you. I told you guys. What did I just say? What did I just say? <sighs> Dude, it's game, it's game, it's game. Okay. Definitely gotta go into a tailwind. Do not even have protect on the same. Dude, that, that mm. I am I am a soul vested. Could Dynamax have that berserk pop. Yeah, no, my soul vested. He's gonna tail one out speed. You know what? You know what? Yeah, I gotta match tail one. Do this. Good airstream to start taking speed advantage. Oh, yeah, we, we, I might just drop this rock on this thing. <laughs> you should get after it. It's darkness onto it. Another special defense. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this red, red lucky. I'm gonna Dynamax him. Mole treasure getting the Dynamax. You're soul vested. I think he's just gonna go into an E web. Which I, I feel like we can eat up a decent amount. So Dynamax Moltres here. We getting buzzing. We getting buzzing with a uh, Galarian Chicken. Let's go. Chicken Joe, yo. Love that movie. Surf's Up. If you guys watch Surf's Up, give me a little bit of hashtag Surf's Up gang in the comment section down below. One of the best animated movies on planet Earth. No problem whatsoever. We're going to go tail one for tail one. And it has the best soundtrack for any movie, I think. Such just absolute jams. Electro Web comes out here. I saw that coming. Talonflame eats. Moltres eats by a lot. That's good. That's good turn for us. Let me get that speed drop, though. 
I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna be able to get off this darkness. Darkness is blazing, baby. Take this thing out. Time to go home. Get it out of here. Get him out my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it out my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we get a special defense drop. Um, Speed is on his side considering we're both minus one. Tailwind's kind of neglecting a little bit of it, but let's see who he throws out here. We can go into Lapris. And that's a little scary. Lapris definitely a little scary. I might drop a rock onto it. He'll protect you. Would be a big protector. I think I am gonna protect. I am gonna drop a rock onto the bird. I'm gonna get rid of this bird. I say, hey, bird, get out of here. You're gonna die to Max Lapras. I'm gonna go for that G Max resonance onto my bird. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of his bird. He's gonna, or not, and in, in, then he's gonna drop a G Max resonance onto my bird. Which I think we eat. Then we outspeed next turn. Actually, maybe not. This one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be good. We still have Cinder in the back. Still have Cinder. And we're protecting Talonflame just so with the Wing Beat doesn't kick, come in here and take out my Firebird. Heat Wave comes out here. Okay. Okay. That's fine by me. Moltres up Voids. That's lovely. Rockfall coming out here. Let's drop this bird. Kill this bird to get out of here. He's probably Sash. He's not Sash. So we just get rid of him. We just say, hey, get him out of my face. Drop that thing, no problem. Okay. Oh, the Buffets. Please don't say the Buffets take out my Tower Flame. Didn't even think of that. Town Flame, yo, you got this. Here comes the Resonance. You going after my Moltres 100%, right? Moltres say, let's see, Snack, Pock, Berserk. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has this going out here. What is your next Pokemon? That's my question. Bring me somebody slow. Berserk's popping. I need somebody slow here so I can uh, get off another turn here. Town Flame, eat it, eat it, eat it. One. Oh, you are my best friend. You are my best friend, Town Flame. You're the best. Nobody better. Okay, so he has a war bell out here. Um, Sandstorm's out here as well. And he's gonna send out whom? Palorex. Who's pretty speedy, right? Decently speedy, right? I would love to get rid of it. I'd love to just throw a dual wing beat towards it. I'm gonna double up in there, I don't care. Let's do this. He's probably just gonna drop an Astral Barrage. Yep, E, E don't Moltres. Moltres eats like a tank. Thank you very much. Um, I think we just take out Calyx here. Grim Nace boosting. This is going to be a big shot for us. I really do like where we're sitting here. He's going to have uh, one more turn left, and we still have two Pokemon left here. Take this thing out. He's Sash, of course, and I don't think Puffins hit him, right? Because he's Ghost type? Or or was that because the Dragon Ball could have been Safety Goggle? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens here. We are Soul Vested. Which is wonderful. He's going to change up the weather. Okay, so he does survive. I'm going to roll into my Sin Rays. I'm going to roll a Sucker Punch. We should be able to eat this, right? Okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Okay. Sucker Punch rolling out up against this thing. Yo, we're looking pretty solid here. Looking pretty solid, yo. Your boy's buzzing in this third battle. Doing good. When I didn't want that Red Jalecki to be a lead, we're changing into something a little bit better. I made a nice play by Dynamax and Moltres and rolling from there. Okay, so we can Sucker Punch on this thing. I'm not playing around. I think I'm playing around. I'm going to play around. Sucker Punch coming out here. So we 100% make sure we get that uh, out speed. And you know what? I'm just going to Snarl. Good Fiery Wrath, but dude, Snarl is going to be the play. Just take out that Lapras special attack. Try to guarantee us that win. And Reigns above us. So my Dialga Thunder can hit 100% of the time. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see what he does. You don't protect. Hey, yo, that's fine. You're not taking out my Cinder Race. There's, there, you can't. You can't. I'm sashed. I am sashed. Snarl coming out here. Snarl, Barl coming out here. Get that minus one onto that Lapras. That is huge. That is enormous. Gonna go for a Geyser on my Cinder slot. Cinder. Did you change typings too? You might not even need that sash. Nope, you didn't change typings because the move didn't come out. But still, you're thriving here. You have your sash. Well, we put that thing on. That's why you got the sash. Tailwind speed it out from both sides. Sucker Punch is going to come through. I'm just going to snarl again. Actually, no. I'm not going to snarl again. I want to snarl again. I'm going to Ancient Power. Hmm. Now, you know, we're just going to go for Fiery Wrath here. Try to do as much damage as we can over on the Lapras. 
But we got this one pretty much locked up. Unless my Sucker Punch misses. Only way we lose this match, I feel like. If my Sucker Punch misses. Yeah, you're struggling. Unless you go for a double. If you land a double protect, I'm going to cry. That's the only way he wins. He lands double protect or my Sucker Punch misses. And I... So God help me. So God help me if one of those options happen. The Pokey God is just out to get me if that happens. Oh my lord. Stop it. Stop it. We better get a flinch here. Stop it. Yo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got the flinch. Oh my lord. That was good. That, 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 thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, man. Arceus, I love you. <laughs> but, dude, are you kidding me? Like, what game is this? He landed that protect. Thank God we got that flinch. If we didn't get that flinch, we lost. No protect. Yeah, you're not doing it three times in a row. Sucker Punch comes out. Oh, it doesn't do anything. But Fiery Rat's gonna come out here and do the work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's game. <laughs> game, dude. <laughs> I would have been so disappointed if we lost that match. Freeze Giant comes out here. You're taking out my Cinder. <laughs> I would have been so disappointed, man. I was saying that. I was like, yo, if he lands, I was like, only way we lose. He lands his second protect. He's like, protect, lands. I'm like, what you mean? You think my Moltres comes clutch with that flinch. So you get some luck, I get some luck. So it just cancels out. It's negative, negative. Cancels out. Yeah, he's gonna come out here. That's GG's Thunder hits 100% of the time. And I'm gonna throw some rocks at this dude. Just because I want to. Just because I want to toss some rocks at him. He cancels the battle. Beautiful. We got one and two for today's video. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Only got one win today, but the two battles that we did end up losing were awesome battles. I feel like we played decently well and we got some awesome content out for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Khaled for dropping this team. It was awesome. I absolutely loved everything about it from the Diago to the Life Orb to the Guard Chomp to Cinderace and everything else. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.